Hey, I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you skip this part of the video, you will miss out on the deal of a lifetime. If you click the link in the description, you will see that Atlas VPN are giving out an offer to get a three year subscription for just $1.83 per month. That's less than Netflix's latest price increase. Plus, it comes with three months for free and a 30 day money back guarantee. It's the best VPN on the market and you can use it to watch shows that are not available on streaming services in your country. So you can watch Friends on UK Netflix no matter where you are in the world, as long as you have a subscription to Netflix. You can even use it on unlimited devices. So everyone in your house can watch Friends on UK Netflix at once. And they keep your searches private so that we'll all finally stop spying on you. But remember, time is of the essence if you want to get this offer. Just $1.83 per month to get a three year subscription by clicking the link in the description below. Am I the asshole for doing the same thing to my sister-in-law that she does to my son? So background. I, 32 female, have a brother, Dave, 35 male, who's married to, Sarah, 29 female. They don't have children yet. I have a son who just turned 4 and a 3 month old daughter with my husband, 39 male. My husband and I live in Belgium most of the time, but we travel back to visit my family about once a month, in England. At home, we speak both English and French to our children, my husband is Belgian. And right now, my son is in this very sweet phase where he'll sometimes mix up the two languages and say a couple of words in English in a French sentence or vice versa. This has never posed a problem to us, and even the staff at his nursery have reassured us that it's very common and they tend to grow out of it once they start at school. My sister-in-law has decided that this is a problem, so when we're visiting my parents and she notices my son doing this, she'll correct him, but she does so really rudely, whereas my husband and I will just gently correct him. Anyway, we're visiting at the moment and she's now decided that instead of correcting him, she's just going to start ignoring him when he does this. I sort of noticed her doing it when we arrived, and I thought it was odd, but assumed maybe she was just stressed, her job is quite intense, but it only really became an issue yesterday. My husband was talking to my dad outside and I was feeding my daughter in the other room, and I'd left Louis with Sarah and Dave. When I came back downstairs, Louis was crying, and I managed to understand that he'd tried to ask Sarah for a drink, he has a special cup he uses that he was holding, so it was obvious what he meant, but that she just ignored him. I asked her why and she explained that she wasn't going to reply to him unless he said the sentence correctly and that I shouldn't be ignoring my son's obvious speech issues. For context, it's not that she didn't know what he wanted. She told me that she understood exactly what he was asking for, but that she was deliberately refusing because he hadn't asked correctly. This really pissed me off, but luckily my husband came inside at that moment and pulled me away so we could calm down and settle Louis. That night at the dinner table, Sarah asked me to pass her something, but she said it in, bad, English, she is English, I just mean that she asked for it in slang. Think, pass us the peas, will you? I had a bit of an epiphany and I just decided to totally ignore her. She asked again, and I did the same thing. My brother asked why I was ignoring his wife and I said that I'm not able to reply if she can't speak English correctly and that it's wrong of him to ignore her obvious issues with grammar. Everyone's pretty pissed off with me and I admit it was incredibly childish, but she was needlessly being a dickhead to my baby. Should I just apologize? Edit. Wow this really blew up. Thanks for all the comments and support, and thanks for all the esh, you are the asshole messages too. I'm not going to apologize to her, because, to be quite frank, I think she deserved it, but I will have a conversation with her and my brother before we leave to try and explain that, for one thing, it's completely normal, and, more importantly, that if she keeps correcting or ignoring my son, I'll be severely limiting their contact. Although I doubt if I'll ever leave him alone in a room with her again anyway. Dot. To answer a few of the most common questions, when I said everyone was mad at me, I meant my brother, his wife and my parents, although, my parents don't agree with what Sarah's doing either. They're more trying to keep the peace. My husband is entirely on my side, and when he realized what Sarah had done to Louis, he only saw the aftermath, he wanted to cut short the trip. Sarah, and the rest of my family, only speak English, which I suppose goes some way towards explaining why she doesn't understand it. I do think it's a monolingual reaction because we've never experienced anything similar in Belgium. One final thing lots of questions about why we're in the UK so often. My husband has to be in London for his job about once a month, once every six weeks, so we tag along. 
I freelance, and a few of my clients are UK-based. So it's a good opportunity for me to fit in a few meetings too. It also gives us the chance to bring Lewis and Misha over to see my parents before Lewis starts school, and we have to cut down on the visits. Not the asshole. Dot. You completely passive-aggressively defended your kid against a childish adult. Was it petty? Yes. Was it deserved? Hell yes. Not the asshole. I think it was a good way of making your point, actually. Your son is four, for Christ's sake. I mean, for Christ's sake. Of course he's going to make a few grammatical and pronunciation errors. Gentle correction is the way to go, not ignoring the kid unless and until he gets the sentence right. How does he even know what's right unless the adults in his life tell him? Am I the asshole for dropping my sister's kids at the child-free wedding that she was at? To make a long story short, I, F25, I'm a medical student. My free time is very limited and I have lots and lots of commitments. My sister, F33, has three kids all under 10 and she often expects me to babysit for her which isn't the main problem, but she drops them off at random times with very short notice or no notice at all. The other day, she called saying she was on her way to drop the kids off at my place, because she was attending her friend's child-free wedding and she couldn't take the kids with her. I had a huge argument with her on the phone because I had to study for my upcoming exam but next thing I knew, the kids were at my doorstop and she was already back in the car and then drove off with her husband. I was so pissed I couldn't handle it. I decided to get dressed 30 minutes later and take the kids right where their mom and dad were. I drove them to the wedding which was at her friend's house and had them go in. The men there tried to stop the kids till my sister and her husband came rushing. My sister was shocked. She started shouting after me but I quickly got into the car and drove off. I went home and she started calling me. After she realized I wasn't going to pick up, she sent few texts calling me unhinged and a fucking b-carat dollar for putting her in this situation and embarrassing her in front of her friends. She mentioned that by bringing the kids to the child-free wedding I disrespected her friend which affected their relationship AMD caused her and her husband to go home and miss out on TJE rest of the wedding. Her husband called later and I picked up thinking he'd speak to me rationally like he always does but he scolded me saying that it wouldn't hurt if I kept the kids for few hours, and then expressed how disappointed he was and how selfish and petty I was to do this to my sister and her kids. Now I'm thinking I should have sucked it up for few hours. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Your sister dropped her kids off at your house without prior arrangements assuming you had nothing else to do. She thinks she's entitled to everyone else's time and help. Hint. She's not. You didn't do this to your sister. She did it to herself. She knew she had a wedding. She should have arranged with you in advance or hired a babysitter. You did not disrespect her. On the contrary, she disrespected you and doesn't value you or your time. She and hubby decided to be parents. It's their responsibility to take care of their children and not dump it on someone else when it is inconvenient for them. Edit. Wow. Thanks for all the awards. What a nice surprise. Not the asshole and hash x200b. You were very nice to them. The other option would have been to call CPS. Am I the asshole for laughing at my mother-in-law when she ate my snacks and got way too high? My wife and I just moved back to her hometown. We love living in a big city but we had agreed when we got married that when we started a family we would move to a small town. It sort of sucks but I am only a 45-minute drive from a theater and good restaurants. It's not like we are in the middle of the woods. We live in Canada. Weed is fully legal here. I like to make weed butter and cook with it. I make brownies or fudge and my wife and I both partake. Well her not so much right now because she is breastfeeding. My wife insisted that we give her mom a key for emergencies. I disagree but I lost the vote. So we talked about it and I said I was fine with it but it was only for emergencies. She wasn't to use it to come over and clean up or anything like that. Her mom agreed and we gave her a key. Well she followed the rules for about two months. My wife is out of town in the city for the weekend visiting friends. Since it is a two hour drive to that side of the city she is just staying there. I came home last night and found my mill high as a kite in my living room. She had decided that since my wife was out of town I needed a home cooked meal. One thing led to another and she found some fudge. She was so high all she was doing was staring at the TV. Indica will do that to you. I called my wife and laughed my ass off. She is giving me shit for letting her mom get high. And for laughing at her mom. Mill is currently resting in the guest bedroom. 
My wife's stepdad came to get her but she is not moving. We had a few beers and watched the Jays get destroyed. She came into our home and ate my stuff without permission. I'm not really upset. She is super helpful and she has always been nice to me. I just think it's hilarious. But my wife days I'm an asshole for laughing at her mom. Not the asshole. That's hysterical. She should be grateful that you aren't mad. She didn't have permission. Not the asshole. She broke your rules. No going in the house except for emergencies. Having a cooked diner is nice, but not an emergency. She help herself to food without knowing what it was or for whom. Imagine you had it saved for someone, a party or to take to work. And laugh about is the best option. There's no reason to be mad or angry. And it is a funny thing, after your check to see if it's she's not hurt. Wife will hopefully find it funny too, as will Mill. Not the asshole. The key you gave her was for emergencies only. Right? You needing a home-cooked meal is not an emergency. If you go into someone else's house, you ask permission first. It's very simple. It sounds hilarious, by the way, but try containing your laughter until after her mother feels normal again. Am I the asshole for changing the lock after my husband gave his mom a copy of the new house's key? My husband and I, both 30s, purchased a new house together last month. His mom nagged us for a copy of THS key but I refused because in our old home, she kept letting herself in and invade our privacy. She begged, cried and even tried to send people at me to pressure me to agree. I still refused but later I found out that my husband gave her a copy. I was livid. I had the biggest argument with him because of it. He said that it was done and that, there was nothing I can do about it. I cried my eyes out in frustration but then I contacted a locksmith and had the lock changed. My husband found out and went off on me saying I had no right to make such decision on my own. But I replied that he didn't consult me when he decided to let his mom have a copy of the key. I stated that I will not be living in paranoia in my own house anymore. He yelled at me asking what he should tell his mom now then stormed off. His dad and family knew and started calling Ms. Petty and whatnot. He's refusing to speak to me unless I correct my mistake. Am I the asshole for doing this? Not the asshole but the best way to correct this mistake isn't with a locksmith, it's with a divorce lawyer. Not the asshole. She has no reason to have a key. This about her control over her son. He needs to know that her having a key is about her control over him and by extension you. This is not normal behavior for normal people. Also, undoubtedly he will give her a copy of the new key. Not the asshole. But seriously make this your hill to die on. Not the asshole. Sell the house, return the STBX back to his parents. He has no respect for you, your decisions, or your privacy. He and his mommy, and her minions, will continue to demand you fall in line behind her demands. Run like the wind.